Okay, I want to show you something. Maybe, maybe a little hard to see, but what I have there is three tea lights. And, um, call me sentimental, but those three tea lights are to consider the victims of three major aviation disasters um, this month alone. Um, MH17, of course, which has been well documented. Um, an accident in Taiwan last night. And another accident today in the Sahara. Well, for now we can say accident. It's actually a breaking news story. Um, I've lit these candles because I'm quite a sentimental person, but, and it's just, I mean, obviously it's a gesture that doesn't help anyone really, but it's just a sort of human sentimental thing. Um, it's incredible, you know, uh, tonight's breaking news is that there has been yet another plane crash over the Sahara. Um, it's uh, an Air, 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 sorry, Air Algerie plane that was flying from Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso to Algiers. Um, 116 people on board. That includes, uh, I believe, 100 passengers and 16 crew, including 51 French citizens. Um, wreckage has been spotted in Aguel, Hawk and Kadal, according to Mali's president. Um, Air traffic lost track of the plane over Mali 50 minutes after takeoff. The plane had rerouted due to heavy rain shortly before contact was lost. And this is flight AH 5017, 116 people on board. Um, six crew members were Spanish employees of the plane owner Swift Air. Um, search operation underway on both sides of the Mali Niger border. Um, this is on the Daily Telegraph. So I'll put a link to that. Um, this, on a normal circumstance, would be a big story, but it's being overshadowed by other big stories. There's an ongoing conflict in Gaza. There's an ongoing situation with MH17. The, the bodies, very grim images of the bodies being brought back to the Netherlands for forensics. Um, and there's, a, on a lighter note, the Commonwealth Games have just opened in Glasgow. But one month to have three major aviation incidents is quite um is quite something i'm not saying it's unprecedented but given that recent years aviation has drastically improved in safety terms this has been a particularly bad year and one month to have three major incidents is incredible obviously mh17 we all know now that that's most likely to have been shot down it wasn't an accident last night's disaster in taiwan also got overshadowed um but it's believed 48 people perished in that accident. Um, apparently the plane was flying during the middle of a typhoon. Um, there was terrible scenes at Taipei Airport, I believe. And there'll be terrible scenes tonight at Paris. I don't know if it's Charles de Gaulle or Orly, but... Um, three major incidents in one month, that is incredible. And they're, they're all major incidents, we're not talking just incidents, they're all major incidents with over each one had over 40 fatalities so um, it's incredible I don't really have any particular message of this video just spreading information um, I'll put a link to what's happened but it's awful and it's being overshadowed because of the the terrible situation in Gaza um, I may as well make a word about that since I'm sort of making a news round here um, I, I've made videos defending Israel um, but I've also said that that doesn't mean I support everything Israel does. And if it is true that uh, um, there's no reason to lie, if it's UN personnel have told this IDF their positions, their coordinates of this hospital, then the IDF is going to have to take responsibility for that because they've got blood on their hands for this incident today. Um, 16 people killed in a UN compound. Well, that's a disgrace. And... Um, Whilst I have stuck up for Israel and a lot of the Israeli argument, I would look pretty stupid if I was to make excuses for this. So um, tonight, I'm not. I'm critical of Israel. I think they're going. They have no excuse for what has happened tonight. Um, so there has to be a full investigation. And if it transpires that this was IDF, and it most likely was, 
then that is a p possible war crime. I mean, we can't gloss it over any other way. And I would look pretty stupid as someone who does believe in Israel, someone who has defended Israel, if I were to make excuses for this, given that the UN um, has told Israel as many as a dozen times that that was the coordinates. So the IDF really has no excuses for this one if it transpires that they were responsible. Um, you know, uh, whilst it is true that Hamas is active on the ground, they cannot use that to justify each and every time civilians die in Gaza. Although, having said that, you know, uh, I think it's an utter disgrace that the Hamas spokesman, I forget the guy's name, but whilst his people are suffering, he is in a, he's flying around in jets in Qatar. You know, why is he not on the ground in Gaza? If, if Hamas really cares about the Palestinian people, why are they not on the ground? Um, regarding this conflict, I, I really hope it ends soon, because obviously people are suffering terribly. Um, it's horrible to see what's happening to the Palestinian children, and um, needless to say, the Palestinians have suffered terribly in this conflict. There has been some Israeli fatalities as well, but the overwhelming majority are Palestinians. Um, Hamas is now calling for a ceasefire, so I think Israel should now take this seriously and hold back, because if Israel doesn't, the vilification is going to go deeper and Israel is not going to do itself any favours. And I'm saying that as someone who does believe in the state of Israel, who I'm not of the school of thought that it's uh, it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. But that doesn't mean I'm going to defend the indefensible. And if Israel has bombed a UN compound, accident or otherwise, it's a disgrace. Um, so if this was a tragic accident, that you know, it's it's going to be of no comfort to the victims. So Israel now should really hold back, and um, because every day more Palestinians die is another day Israel isolates itself. Um, if you're Israeli, um, I, I'm someone who believes that Israel has a right to defend itself, but far too many innocent men, women and children have died. This has to end. It has to end. Because the situation in Gaza is abysmal. So my message to the IDF is end this now. If you end this now, Hamas continues firing rockets, they'll have no excuses. But I think you have no excuses either for continuing this at this stage when so many people have died. It has to end.